very warm welcome to ET Energy World. This is day two of India Energy Week 2025 right here in New Delhi. I'm Devina Lasson and joining me now is Bhaskar Jyoti Fukan. He's the Managing Director at NRL. So welcome, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. Wonderful opportunity to connect with you here, of course, at India Energy Week. How has been your experience so far? The, the very purpose of us being here is to demonstrate what we are trying to do. Also, we are connecting with people and there are many, many vendors which have come with uh, new energy, uh, new techniques, reliability, centered yes. maintenance, all these uh, guys we are meeting and it's a, a wonderful platform. We thank the uh, Ministry of Petroleum for giving us this opportunity. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, sir, can you tell us a little bit about some of the key initiatives of NRL? Of course, you're working across the board. We can see around us as well uh, some indication of what NRL is uh, has in the pipeline. So, can you tell us about your key initiatives and how you're really staying ahead of the curve when it comes to sustainable energy solutions? At the onset, I would like to tell that uh, the refining business is going to be very competitive in future. So what had been the refinery business yes. is not going to be in the future. That yes. we are acutely aware of. So we are focusing very heavily on the efficiency improvement. One of the key pillars of efficiency is reliability. Yes. If you become reliable, you become efficient. So therefore, we are extremely uh, conscious about our reliability performance. So there is a major call operation availability. In the refining side, we are trying to enhance the operation availability to around 98%, which is the a benchmark that we are all aspiring for. On the other side, we are also trying to transition uh, gradually into other uh, fuels and chemicals. For example, we are in a JV mode, we are also doing a uh, bioethanol plant. Okay, yes. We are trying to convert bamboo into ethanol wow, because bamboo is abundantly available there and it will not only produce uh, ethanol, it will also produce furfural and acetic acid yes. apart from producing its own power. Wow. That way, if you look at that plan and include the carbon sink that uh, bamboo is going to create because of the growth yes. of bamboo and all, the whole plant is carbon negative. Wow. Okay. And also, it will contribute very heavily to the local society because the procurement of bamboo yes. will happen from the local society. Yes. So, it's a very uh, a novel initiative and it is the first time in the world. That's what we know. Uh, yes. Of course, I'm not aware somebody else in the world have tried to convert bamboo into ethanol. Sure. So that is the one one of the major initiatives that we have. Secondly, we are also putting up a 17 megawatt uh, electrolyzer yes. uh, for green hydrogen. So we will try to produce 2.4 KTPA green hydrogen and that work is also under progress. We have also floated a tender for uh, sourcing 10 KTPA of green hydrogen on a build on operate basis. Wow, okay. So that, uh, uh, that uh, tender is live and people are uh, showing a lot of interest there. Yeah. So these are the, some of the major initiatives that we are taking. This is apart from we are trying to enhance the refining capacity. Being a very small refinery, your uh, per capita cost of uh, uh, that uh, refining goes yes. up. Yes. So uh, you, you have to increase your denominator. So therefore, we are trying to increase our capacity from uh, uh, 3 to 9. While doing so, we are also trying to have a molecule which can be converted to petrochemical. Wow. So that is the journey, that is the strategy that we have taken. Fantastic. Uh, I must ask at this point, what role is AI playing in all of this? No talk on sustainability, uh, new technology. The future really can be had without uh, understanding the uh, impact of AI. So, love to hear your uh, input on that. Uh, yes, AI on the top level, uh, we are trying to implement. But we, we are at the infancy, let yeah, me sure. admit that. And sure. uh, But on the on the background, whatever work that we have done, we have tried to demonstrate something over here also. We have uh, in the, uh, we are tra tra trying to convert the entire refining business into digital mode, for which we have created a total digital infrastructure inside the refinery. Okay. If you go to our refinery, you'll see a lot of wireless being used. Okay, yes. See, the operators are typically carrying tabs and they were, they were measuring uh, the uh, parameters yep. from the manual thing and it is getting uh, loaded in the cloud. Okay, yes. On the other hand, we have DCS. So, in a particular, just uh, let me explain you in a one second. See, in a particular place, if you have a temperature indicator and a temperature gauge, 
there may be disagreement between them. Right. What yes. the operator sees is temperature gauge. Right. What the control room sees is a temperature indicator. Okay. So if there is a disagreement, that immediately comes to the fore. Sir, yes. But, and plus having this in a cloud environment, we have uh, put it in a local cloud, of course. And the uh, uh, DCS parameters are also going into the local right. cloud. Yes. So contradictions are uh, uh, highlighted there. Yeah. Plus, we are actually looking at the KPS per mm -hmm. shift. Otherwise, what used to typically happen, people would have written in the logbooks, that would have remained, and it is periodic. Yes. Now that it is continuously coming, setting KPIs for efficiency improvement and reliability improvement is taking place over there. Right. Now, having created this environment, that cre has created a lot of data as we have, mm -hmm. and we have dump dumped all this data in single platform. Yes. And uh, rotary equipment also have a lot of data. Yeah. So those data are also dumped there. So you have the process data, you have the equipment data in right. the same platform. Right. Now we are trying to implement the AI generated models for predictive failures yes. and uh, yes. reliability yes. improvement kind yes. of a thing. That is where we are. And we are collaborating uh, heavily. And also we are trying to uh, do a lot of documentation by application of AI basically, LLM and NLM kind of a thing we are trying to implement. Yes. All right, fantastic. Of course, because data collection is just the first step of the process. It's the analytics that really will give the required results in the end. So, yeah, fantastic. Um, I must ask as well, how is NRL staying ahead of the curve? Because, of course, renewable energy, clean energy is the order of the day here in India, but also on a global scale. So, what does it take for NRL to stay competitive? Our take on the subject is like this. You may have heard a lot of commentary that uh, this fossil fuel is not going to go in a hurry. So, till that time, it remains our duty is to keep on supplying. Yes. The moment it tapers down, we should also be able to supply and uh, go to something else. Right. Therefore, our preparedness is like this, that we, in one of our plants, say, I have talked about green hydrogen. If you produce green hydrogen, what happens to your old hydrogen yes. plant? Yes, yes. So, it can be repurposed. What we are mm -hmm. trying to do, we are trying to isolate carbon monoxide. Right. In on one side, uh, a, uh, we have this... Uh, a methanol which is available from our sister concern called Assam Petrochemical yes. Limited. So carbon the carbon monoxide, ethanol uh, can combine to produce something very worthwhile like right. acetic acid and all. Though that that way we are progressing in one yes. side. Okay. Secondly, okay. as I have mentioned that we have the petrochemical basic molecule, propylene. We are trying to have a polypropylene plant. Okay. Yes. So we are going to go on ground. We are trying to have a 360 KTPA polypropylene plant, which has already been approved. Okay. EC has been granted. So we are going to go, go to the ground very, very soon. Okay. So therefore, on one hand, while we will continue to supply till the time the market will need petrol, diesel and yes. ATF. Yes. We are also say uh, being uh, ready. We are in a state of readiness. But if the petrol and the diesel demand were to go drastically down, yes. immediately we can go to something the else. Next step. See, for example, we are also trying to put a ATF plan because you know that so many aircrafts are being procured by the Indian airliners. Yes. Yes. So you can assume that ATF demand will zoom. So you need ATF. Along with ATF, uh, sustainable aviation fuel will also come. So we are also very keen to set up some one or two. At least one plant we will do through conversion yes. and one fresh plant we are planning okay. for a, a sustainable aviation. Okay, fuel. That is where we are. a very robust framework yeah. to keep in mind all the scenarios. If we are trying to be as nimble as possible. Yes. Yes. That's wonderful. And so finally, before we wrap up, is there any key aspect of uh, India Energy Week that you're really looking forward to? What is the main outcome that you hope to achieve by the end of this week? As I have mentioned in my op opening remark, the, uh, it gives a good connect with uh, different professionals and we have been constantly discussing with a lot of players uh, what improvement they can bring. Yes. So you have seen the uh, move around and seen so many uh, technical aspects are being addressed. Absolutely, yes. Even the, uh, the financial aspects are also being talked about. Yes. How to do the green financing, all this stuff are getting discussed. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful forum. I think... Uh, uh, we must compliment Ministry of Petroleum for having organized this kind yes, of event. Yes, wonderful. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. Absolute pleasure. All the very best for the rest of the thank week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that's all we have for you on this segment. But do stay tuned to ET Energy World for all the updates from India Energy Week 2025. Stay tuned.